um, part 8, I think. Um, yeah, I don't know why the video goes out of sync, but I'm sorry for that, I guess. Uh, I can't do anything about it right now. It's probably my RAM or something. Anyways, uh, let's get into it. Uh, you know, that you just can't run away. There's the battle, it's going to be won or lost, and there's just, there's just no not participating. I'm participating right now, but I'm still questioning evermore if I should at all participate anymore, anywhere, if you know what I mean. Pretty sure you had similar thoughts sometimes. Because the battle on this earth often seems so lost. It's just, you can't, you can't play that game and say I didn't do any harm. I did do harm, so did you, everybody did. That's part of the whole point. You did do harm. Um. Thank God there's a good referee. Yeah, if you're not afflicting the comfortable and comforting the afflicted, <laughs> you're doing harm. All right. Anyway, so then I just made a joke. I mean, you know, we could, you know, leave it up to God. Leave it up to God. Leave it up to God. <laughs> um, it's like leaving it up to the great grasshopper or something. If you say so. Leave it up to nature. I mean, it's just not an answer. Not to you. We're smarter than this. We can do better. Smarter, maybe. Better than this, and we're not going to do better than this if people like you, who maybe Ray Kurzweil will fix it all or something. He's pretty smart, they say. Who, who are sensitive and uh, can appreciate um, the real, the harsh brutality. I am pretty sensitive, way too much sometimes, sadly. It would be easier not to be sensitive, especially in this harsh environment. Of the game we're caught in. Um. But praise God for Jesus, for the ultimate hope, for all the weak, the broken. Exactly. Amen. The, 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 the depraved nature of our psychology these are things you appreciate and your participation in, in the suppression of those things owning us is important and you just as I'm fighting my fight every day <laughs> as I said I'm a nobody I'm a nobody it's not easy to be a nobody in this world sometimes. Because this world wants to have a million tentacles all over you. It's almost like those uh, comics from Japan, right? Uh, <laughs> you, you're going to diminish the importance of it with this abdication. You know. To the, to the God fantasy. But again, see, I wrote down need and cope because I understand that, you know, I, I, who am I to tell you that this is the only thing that you makes life livable for you? And so I can understand that. Thanks a lot. That's beautiful. Thanks, really thanks. It is what makes life endurable. It is. Jesus is treating others as I'd like to be treated to the best of my ability and I often still fail but my faith is strong Jesus is good but thanks for acknowledging that's beautiful but I guess I just can't understand the um, what's the right way to say it I mean if you have to do it that's fine but again you probably shouldn't be trying to persuade anybody else to use the same kind of mechanism I'm I'm doing what you're doing. I'm sharing my view of things. I'm not forcing anyone to anything. I have very few listeners. And 
God can take it from there. And if one person might find peace and wisdom and truth in what I'm saying and find Jesus, then that's awesome. Wow. Because I don't think the mechanism creates people who have the... If, if somebody else has the ability to do more than you or to cope with more than you, maybe you shouldn't have them turn into dysfunctional copers. I absolutely agree. I also believe that as Jesus said, we are all part of the body of Christ. And some parts, they are, for example, the eye, and they see more. Others are the ear, and they listen to other people's problems or whatever. And if there's a strong guy that doesn't have to be dysfunctional to get his message across or whatever, then so be it. God be with him, all strength, Godspeed, Amen. And rather be functional copers. Absolutely. I love functional copers. I love dysfunctional copers. I love dysfunctional non-copers. I love all people. It's pretty simple, really. I even love those that hate me, which is not easy oftentimes. But I try my best, and I even still slip up, because I'm not Jesus. I need Jesus. So I guess that would be my only argument, is God negates your functionality, and we need people who are functionally coping. We absolutely do. Which is why, another reason why, I won't have offspring. I'm way too dysfunctional for many a thing. I wish you weren't an idiot. I wish you would open up your perception a little more. Or crazy slash. I am crazy, truly. Idiot slash crazy. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, she does have a sense of humor. It's okay, man. It's really okay. God bless you. I like you a lot. You're awesome. I hope you find Jesus. I do. Or he finds you. And I have more hope in him that he finds you. Which is awesome. Uh, we'll play a little, so we'll jump ahead a little bit. I'm going at it in a different perspective as you are. If I'm not thinking or lying because of that, then yeah, I don't know. I didn't walk in your shoes, you didn't walk in mine. We have each other's sort. Yeah, but that's the thing. Again, like I said, I, th I think we, we have walked a lot of the same trails. We have, I agree. Most probably. That's probably what draws me to listen to you, I guess. In life, and we've seen the sunsets, and we've seen the trees, and we've seen the, we've had the happy, we heard the little bird song, we heard, we've had these common things. We can still hear them sometimes. Try to listen for them. <clears throat> it's just for the lack of a few little things, a few little irritations, a few things like, you know, that sound drives you nuts. Yeah, there's always something nagging at us. But um, the darts of the wicked won't always hit. Maybe still sometimes. And I go, oh, isn't that lovely? Something like that. You know, these little tiny little things are creating huge differences in perception. They do. Anyways, um, this video is about over. I'm sorry I didn't get the last minute in, but I wish you the best. You're awesome. Keep searching or debating or thinking. I agree with a lot of things and disagree with other things. And so be it. I agree to disagree. God bless all.